Happy New Year. Um, I'm pumped for 23. I'm not kidding. I feel great. I mean, not physically. Physically, I feel like garbage. But like <laughs> mentally, emotionally, pumped for 23. Um, physically, I've been sick for like three months. I, uh, I um, you know, like sinus stuff and like bronchitis and like just bleh, there's all the gross stuff, you know? I went to the doctor not too long ago and it turns out I have um, kids. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know that tonight's theme was going to be how much kids suck, but yeah, uh, they do. Uh, no, they, uh, kids, I don't know if you know this, but like the doctors call it, um, they're, uh, they're gross. They're just fucking gross. Um, but it's so fun. I love it. <laughs> um, my, my son, he's three and a half, uh, and like a month ago, I was uh, sitting on the couch feeling like garbage. I was just like taking a minute to be sick and he came and sat down next to me and he was like, Dad, are you okay? And I said, you know what, honestly, buddy, I'm uh, not feeling great. Uh, my throat hurts and I kind of, you know, I just feel kind of yuck, I'm kind of sick. And he crawled up into my lap and it was incredibly sweet. Like he, he just like with all the genuine sincerity of a three and a half year old, no bitterness, no irony, no, none of that, he just looked at me right here in my face, and he said, Dad, maybe your throat hurts because you yell so much. <laughs> and then he sneezed into my mouth. <laughs> uh, I have two kids, um, equally as gross. Uh, my, my daughter just turned two this past week, and she's a trip, man. Uh, it is, I mean, it's a lot, but it's fun. There's, there, there is the, the, the glimmers of joy that you find throughout it. Like my, my daughter's two, she's two years old and she has like jokes. She's got like bits that we know, she knows are running jokes with me, you know? And like, she's got her favorite thing right now. And I don't have time to explain to you all the details about why this is funny, <laughs> which yeah, makes for great material for a stand-up show. But, but just trust me. That it was like a sequence of events, like five or six events that led to this point where now my two-year-old daughter, if she wants to make me laugh, she'll look at me and she'll go, Daddy, robot poop. <laughs> exactly. What a weird co combination of words, but trust me, it built itself into a joke. And that, that's like where I find joy in the world is those like real life, well-written bits, you know? Like when <laughs> life like weaves itself in such a way that you come to a punchline, you know? Like, I love that. It brings me such joy. I'm trying to lean into that kind of thing because I'm also, uh, I spent a lot of my life um, very angry. Uh, uh, kind of like so much so that I didn't know I was angry. I just thought that's the way your stomach was supposed to feel, you know? Like, <laughs> Like people, my whole life, my whole life, I'm not kidding, people have been like, Jonathan, why are you so angry all the time? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not angry. Why are you always, I won't shut the fuck up all the time. <laughs> like, I uh, finally realized like, oh, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry all the time. It's like become kind of a part of my brand by accident. Like I'm, I'm so, I have a, a, a little bit on Instagram that I do called Why I Yelled, where I just list reasons I yelled at my kids. It's hilarious, follow me and check it out. Um, I, you can find me on Kaleidoscope on Netflix right now, at the number one streaming show on Netflix. Uh, yes. Thanks, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm doing? Yelling, that's what I'm doing in the show, I got cast to yell, I'm a, I'm a professional yeller. I like give 10,000 hours is like how you master a skill, I'm like an eagle scout of anger, I'm like a, black belt Jedi of just being mad. Uh, and I finally, like, it kind of sucked, you know? Eventually I was like, hmm, is there another way to feel in the world? <laughs> and my therapist, because clearly, uh, my therapist one day was like, she told me this story about her dad, uh, that after he retired, and so this is like 15, 20 years ago, he retired, uh, he started a, a habit every day. He started this routine where he would get up, and he would go for a walk at 9.40 in the morning because leaving his house at 9.40 got him to the Stop and Shop grocery store just before 10 o'clock. And 10 a.m. is when they put out the good bananas. <laughs> and one of his favorite things in the world was a perfectly ripe banana. And he loved, he like built the system to guarantee, to give him the best odds of finding a really good banana. And then the thing is, she said like, after he started doing that, he started finding really good bananas. Like he became the guy in the neighborhood that could get you good bananas. Like he just like, somehow it became his like very barely useful superpower to like find perfectly ripe bananas. And so she said, 
uh, to me. She was like, yeah, there, the world sucks. There's like reasons to be angry. Of, yes, that's, that's true. But maybe what we should do is try to find your you know, perfectly ripe banana. Like find the thing that you can look for that can bring you joy. And I've realized that those like well-woven bits, those things that the, re that the, that the real world gives us, those well-written real world bits is very hard to say, uh, but also very fun to find. Um, like for me, for me, like almost like a religion, I had like almost a religious moment when a thing happened in the real world. We were all there for it. Uh, I don't know if you remember it. It's the funniest thing that's ever, it's fun, scripted, books, television, anything, the funniest thing and I, uh, is Four Seasons Total Landscaping. Do you remember that? Do you remember Donald Trump, Four Seasons Total Landscaping? <laughs> We're not gonna spend, this is not gonna be a political bit, we're not gonna spend time on it. I don't even, there's not time in the day to explain all the details about what made that punchline so funny. <laughs> Just remember that at the end of the day, Donald Trump's campaign team found out that he lost the presidency while they were standing in a parking lot off I-95 outside Philadelphia between a crematorium and a sex shop in front of a store that literally sold bullshit. Like there's so much, like it's too, it's too well written, you know? Like it's too, mwah! That is my perfectly ripe banana, you know? Like it's, that, that, that's what proves to me that there's like a creative loving force that wants us to feel good in the world. Like who could write that so well? And it's not just big things. It's not just like the, like, you know, those kind of like big stories. I really, now I find it all the time. I find these, these things and it genuinely brings me joy. Um, and I'm gonna, you know, tell you another one of those right now. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so my son's three and a half, he's in preschool, uh, and last fall he had picture day. And it was his first time having picture, it's his first time at school, so it's his first time having picture day. And you know how like, um, when kids, uh, when, you, when you take a picture of a kid and you like tell them to smile, they don't really smile, they're just gonna like stretch their face, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, no, with your eyes, and I'm like, like, no, show your teeth. <laughs> you know, like, they don't get it. So, so my wife had what I thought was a, a brilliant idea. I thought it was very smart. She said uh, to her son, she said, listen, when the photographer uh, tells you to smile, or says, when she says, say cheese, you say cheese, but you think poop. Because <laughs> it'll make him laugh. And she was right. We practiced like a whole bunch at home. Like, we're like, say cheese. And he would say cheese, but he'd be cracking up. So it was like a good smile. We were like, we're going to fucking nail picture day. Like, who? We're going to have a kid show up and be like perfect. At, they're going to be like, we have to hire him for something. This kid's perfect at this. So... <laughs> Uh, it was working really well. Uh, it turns out, um, though, my son decided somewhere along the way that it would be funnier, instead of thinking poop, to say poop. <laughs> so now, every time someone goes to take his picture, he just says, poop! <laughs> Which is hilarious. <laughs> and my wife hates it, but I love it. It's <laughs> It's my perfectly ripe banana. It's so good. My, my, uh, this, this past Christmas, this is one of the reasons I'm so pumped for 23. I closed out 22 on such a high note. Uh, so my family, my, my wife and I, two kids and, uh, and myself, we were down south visiting my parents for Christmas and also um, my grandparents. Uh, I have two living grandparents. They both turned 90 this past year. So we were gonna have like a big, yeah, for real, yeah. Yeah, thank you, for real. They, and they're like legit. They're very impressive, very cool people, like very educated, classy, southern, gentle folk, you know, like proper, proper, but like, but impressive people. And so we had a full family gathering. All the cousins and everyone, extended family was there. And uh, we were celebrating them and the holidays. And, you know, we, of course, uh, needed like a big family picture. We need like a good family picture to commemorate this moment. And so we're all sitting uh, on the steps of my parents' house, and the whole big family's there, and uh, everyone's in their color-coordinated outfits, and we're looking like a good, you know, photogenic family, and I'm sitting, uh, my daughter's in my lap, and my wife is sitting next to me with my son, and my 90-year-old grandmother's right behind me, uh, and the photographer's out there, we're all huddling together, the photographer says, say cheese, and my son goes, poop, and my daughter doesn't miss a beat, goes, yeah, robot poop! <laughs> My 90-year-old grandmother did not like that at all. For me, it was the best thing I've ever seen. It was the perfect, perfect, perfectly right banana. And it was why I'm very excited for 23. And that's the end of my time. I'm just happy to move forward. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> there it is. That's literally her yelling robot poop.